First Baptist Church of Kimberling City presents a fresh look with Fresh Start. Hi, welcome to Fresh Start. This morning we're reading out of Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, I urge you to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may discern what is the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. Wow, there's a lot packed into these two verses. Uh, we are urged by Paul to present our bodies as a living sacrifice. We see uh, scripture that tells us that we're being urged to do things. We, we hear Paul do this a number of times. Now I urge you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree in what you say, that there be no divisions among you, and that you be united with the same understanding and the same conviction. That comes from 1 Corinthians 1.10. In 2 Corinthians 10.2, I beg you that when I am present, I will not need to be bold with the confidence by which I plan to challenge certain people who think we are behaving in, a, in an unspiritual way. Uh, in, in Ephesians 4.1, therefore I, the prisoner of the Lord, urge you to walk worthy of the calling you have received. We see uh, over and over again scripture urging us to act right in the eyes of God. In this case, we're being urged to present our bodies as a living sacrifice, giving God everything that we have to be holy and pleasing to God. As you know, the word holy means set apart. It means that we're separate from the world. We're, we're not the same. We should be able to uh, look at a brother and sister in Christ and immediately identify with them because they're not the same as the world. Uh, people around us should be able to look at us and say there's something different knowing that because of Jesus Christ we are holy we are pleasing to God and that this is our spiritual worship what is worship giving everything that we have to God recognizing who he is in our lives now do not be conformed to this age uh, we're we're urged not to be like the world not to be like the world in Galatians 1 4 it says this who gave himself talking about Jesus who gave himself for our sins to rescue us from this present evil age according to the will of our God and Father in uh, 1 John 2 15 it says do not love the world or the things that belong to the world if anyone loves the world the love for the Father is not in him we should not be conformed to the world. How do we change? How do we do that? We do that by continually being in God's Word. We do that by continually uh, praying, God help me to see where I need to change, what I need to do differently in your eyes, God. Not in the eyes of the world, but transformed. How are we transformed? By the renewing of your mind, as Scripture goes on to say. Uh, it's, it's a new way of thinking. In Ephesians 4.23, we read, You are being renewed in the spirit of your minds. In uh, Titus 3.5, it says this, He saved us, not by the works of righteousness that we had done, but according to His mercy, through the washing of regeneration and the renewal by the Holy Spirit. We praise God because it is by His Spirit we are made new. It's by the blood of Christ that we are made new. We are a new creation in Him. And, and we are, that is to say, our minds are renewed so that we may discern what is the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. God wants us to know His plan. God wants us to know how we may serve Him. God wants us to know how we may serve each other better. So this day, I encourage you to reflect upon that, to reflect upon the fact that we are not to be conformed to, to the world, that we need to renew our minds in Christ, and because of that, we can know the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. May God bless you today as we get a fresh start. 
Thank you for listening. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share Fresh Start. Fresh Start is a ministry of First Baptist Church, Kimberling City.